All right, so I'm in my 2000 Cadillac DeVille uh, base model. And we're gonna go ahead and show how to check your codes if you have a check engine light to pop up. Your, the vehicle has a diagnostic, diagnostic system already built in. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, check that out. So just turn your key on. Make sure your AC and everything's off so it's not constantly blowing. All right, and then you have your info button, your next and reset button, and your on off button. You wanna hold the on off and the up for the info at the same time. Go ahead and hold that. And then a couple of seconds, all your lights will come on and you can release the buttons. And then once all your lights come on, there's gonna be a message at the bottom that says all. And if you use the arrow buttons, you can scroll through all the modules. Okay, we're gonna go back to all and I'm gonna hit the on off button again, this one. Not hold it, just tap it. And it'll say all codes. And once it's asking me, do I want it to read all the codes? So once I do that, then you hit on again, and it's gonna start going through all the modules. And if there's any codes, it's gonna pop up. They do pop up pretty fast, so you wanna have a pen and paper ready so you can write those down and you can always go back to uh, figure out what, you know, what the codes mean. So when I first did this, I had uh, 28 codes and about 22 of them were all for low or no voltage to the, the modules. And that's just because I had a dead battery. When I got this from my dad, the, the battery was uh, very low, so we had to jump it. And anytime you jump the car like that, you're gonna get those low or no voltage uh, codes. Um, the IPM is going to be getting some codes that are current and the codes that are coming up, the B0189, the B0429, all those. Uh, the B0189 is for incorrect electronic front end sensor one. Um, the B0249 is heater defrost AC door range error. So basically an actuator door. The B0429 is a blend door rear air passenger side havoc stack. So that's where the actuator is at. And then uh, the B2646 is for the ambient light sensor circuit range. So a couple of those codes are pretty common. You're going to see them a lot. It only takes a little bit of uh, the actuator being off in order to get those codes. You, it will not set a check engine light, but if you check the codes like this, you will have the codes. Uh, the, the two codes I was mainly worried about, the concerned about, were the PCM codes. And that was P0106, which is a map sensor system performance and a P0340, and that's the CMP sensor circuit. So the wires and everything look good up to it. I'm getting the voltage in the ground that I need. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace the map sensor, and I'm also gonna replace the cam position sensor. They're very cheap. I think the map sensor I found online was $9.42, and the cam position sensor was $20.01. Um, I ended up getting it from Summit, which was a little bit more, but they were OEM brand. I think the other ones were aftermarket. So anyway, after you check your codes and you write everything down, it's gonna give you the all clear codes option. And you're gonna hit the on off again. And it's gonna say all codes cleared. To exit out of the diagnostic mode, all you do is just turn your key off and you can start your car and see that it's not in the diagnostic mode anymore if you wanted to. All right, YouTube, if you enjoyed the video and found it helpful, go ahead and hit the like button for me and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.